Happy Wednesday, everybody. Brian Power back with you on the Power 5. Went 3-1-1 one, one on the show yesterday. A card heavy on first five inning plays. That was after going 3-1 and one with MLB totals on Monday. So that's a 6-2-1 and one start to the week. Also gave you Texas A&M to make the college football playoff on Monday's show. So go ahead, smash that like button if you've been enjoying these free winners here on Wager Talk TV. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on today's card. It is going to be total heavy yet again. Uh, so let's get the Power 5 rolling. Not with a total, but with the Red Sox. Plus a half a run in the first five against the Astros. Right now, you're going to have to lay around minus 130. I wouldn't go much higher than that. But Boston finally beat Houston last night, as I predicted they would on Tuesday's edition of the Power Five. What the thought process is for this afternoon. Oh, by the way, this is a 210 Eastern start. Uh, we want to fade the Astros starter, Justin Verlander. He's making his return from the IL. It's his first start since June 9th. He's going to be on a pitch count. Uh, that much is for certain, as you know. Over the last two seasons, it has not been the same old Verlander. I expect him to struggle this afternoon against the Boston lineup that is more productive on the road. We've talked about that each of the last two days. Surprisingly, the Red Sox have a 9-4 and record when Cooper Criswell uh, is on the mound when he gets the start, I should say. I expect them, Boston, to be no worse than tied after five innings today. All right, how about Phillies Braves under eight? We had to settle for a push yesterday on our first five play with the Phillies. This is a full game total, obviously, at the number of eight. Uh, Phillies ended up losing 3-1 yesterday. They're now just 2-5 and five head-to-head with the Braves this season. I anticipate another low-scoring sk- affair tonight with Aaron Nola on the hill for the Phillies. He tossed six and two-thirds shutout innings his last time out. Nola's going to be facing a Braves lineup depleted due to injuries. We all know that. On the other side, Max Fried starting for Atlanta. He has been struggling a bit, but the Phillies don't score as much on the road as they do at home, nor have they scored much against Braves pitching this season. As a matter of fact, just two runs total in the last three games, all of which were here in Atlanta. Philly has topped just four runs in two of those seven head-to-head meetings overall. So under eight in this all-important NL East showdown. Over nine in Angels Royals is our third play for the day. Angels really surprised me, winning 9-5 yesterday. But today, I'll gladly face Royals starter Michael Lorenzen, who's due for some negative regression. He's got a 4.70 expected ERA. He's gotten a bit lucky since coming over at the trade deadline, producing a 87% strand rate. We also can't forget the Royals bullpen. Eh, It's been shaky. I mention it all the time. Uh, on Wager Talk TV, bottom third in all of baseball over the last three to four months. Meanwhile, c- can this be true? Am I am I seeing this correctly on the screen? Johnny Cueto is starting for the Angels. Wow, not a lot of faith there. He uh, has uh, Cueto has not made a big league start since last season when he posted a 6.02 ERA for Miami. He did not look very good down in AAA. And here, Quaid is going to be facing a Royals lineup that is much more productive at home. We talk about that all the time. So up and over in this one. Just a quick note, it is Half Price Wednesday at Wager Talk. That means all plays are discounted 50%, including my top win total for the college football season, which is a rare 5% release since December of 2022. I'm 70% with all college football 5% max bets. Been giving out win totals. And futures, not just in college, but in NFL. Stay tuned for another one in the NFL. Uh, All summer long, we've been doing it. But don't miss my favorite one. My favorite college football win total bets. My favorite football win total bet, period. College or NFL, it is available right now at half off. Just $17.50. WT.buzz slash BP. All right, back to the Power 5. And it is under 7.5 for Rays A's. There have just been four runs total scored in the first two games of this series. The A's, they were a 4% best bet for me on Monday. They won 3-0. Then it was the Rays' turn to win shutout fashion. Last night, 1-0. Big fan of Ryan Pepio, who starts here for Tampa. He's allowed just three runs total in his previous three starts. That spans 17 innings. He's not a lefty, so the A's are in their worst split tonight. Then this Rays lineup. It scored just one run in two games. They should struggle against Mitch Spence, who shut them out for five and a third of one hit ball back in May. Ray's bullpen you kind of scares me a little bit with a total this low. Again, total seven and a half, but the Ray's bullpen's been good in this series. Uh, 
Again, just four runs total in two games between these teams. So I like under seven and a half today. Last but not least, how about another NFL win total for the road? And it is going to be actually not an NFL win total. It is an NFL future, pardon me. Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars to make the playoffs. Plus 130. Again, a future. Jacksonville Jaguars to make the playoffs. Plus 130. At this time last year, everyone was ready to hand the Jags a second straight AFC South title. They began the year 8-3, and three. so what happened after that? Well, quarterback Trevor Lawrence and wide receiver Christian Kirk both got hurt. Things weren't the same. I think Lawrence is poised for a big 2024. He's besieged by drops last year. Also some fumbling problems, but that stuff can be cleaned up. And when you look at the AFC, big picture, I only think two teams are going to make it from the East. Which two out of Buffalo, the Jets, and Miami? Don't quote me on that, but it's going to be two of the three, not all three. I've got the Ravens and Bengals getting into the playoffs from the North. Chiefs should be the only team to get in from the West. Therefore, even if you think the Texans win the South, that still leaves one wild card spot open, and I think it's the Jags for the taking. An underrated team heading into the season, you probably can take them up and over eight and a half wins, but I like plus 130 to make the playoffs for Jacksonville. Let's now recap today's Power 5, shall we? Number one, Red Sox plus half a run in the first five. Number two, Phillies Braves under eight. Three, Angels, Royals over nine. Four, under seven and a half, Rays, A's. And number five, Jacksonville Jaguars to make the playoffs. Plus 130. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, smash that like button. We appreciate the support. And if you're not already subscribed to the Winch Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Power 5 gets dropped every day here on the channel. Plus, you can't forget about the morning wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. So you get two shows from me basically each and every day. Doesn't get much better than that, if I do say so myself. That does it for the show today. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.